Welcome to Spine Academy. In this video, we're going to review cervical ligament degeneration. This is an excerpt from a broader course on cervical spondylosis, which is age-related degeneration of the cervical spine. If you're interested in seeing the full course on cervical spondylosis, we've left a link in the description. Next, we're going to talk about cervical ligament degeneration. This is a topic that really does not get a lot of attention, but I think it's worth spending probably a minute or two talking about. So the ligaments, like the discs, help hold the spine together. So if you think about the stack of blocks, what really is strapping it together are these elastic structures, like this structure right here, which is the nuchal ligament, the structures that you can see between all the bones there, this ligament that runs right across the front of it, which is a pretty tight belt or a band that runs down the front part of the spine, in this case, what's called the anterior longitudinal ligament. Think of the ligaments as being elastic structures that are pretty tough, that are designed to last you a lifetime, that really help hold the spine together to constrain its motion so the pieces just don't go, you know, flopping everywhere. Now, if you look at a single slice of the spine, this is again a sagittal slice, you can see the discs again and the vertebral bodies over here. You can see some important structures that are running right down the front of it, and there's gonna be four of them that we will talk about in greater detail. To really understand it, we'll talk about it both in a sagittal, uh, image and also in an axial image. And we'll talk about the same structure. So there's four structures to think about that are ligamentous. And there's other little ligaments and stuff, but these are probably the principal four worth mentioning. There's a ligament that runs right down the front part of the spinal column, and that is something called the anterior longitudinal ligament. Now in this sequence, you can kind of see it right here. It's this kind of crescent-shaped structure that sits right in the front, right in the middle of the spinal column. And that is something called the anterior longitudinal ligament, or the ALL. Now there is a similar structure that's not in the front, but in the back part of it, which is called the posterior longitudinal ligament. Now the PLL runs in the back part of the vertebral bodies. So it also is in front of the spinal canal. And sometimes that can be thought of as a misnomer, but the PLL runs right at the back part of the vertebral bodies. So here you can kind of see, this is the posterior longitudinal ligament running right down the back part of the bodies. This is the anterior longitudinal ligament. And together the ALL and PLL kind of sandwich the spinal column giving it the flexibility from the front and the back. The next very important structure, ligamentous structure to talk about is something called the yellow ligament or the ligamentum flavum. So that is this structure right here. You can see there's one on the right and there's one on the left here. And this rendition here, you can see it right there. It connects up the C, in this case, the C3 and the C4 segments. You can see there's a little piece of ligamentum flavum here, and then it skips a little segment, and then there's another uh, uh, piece right there, and there's another piece. So these are like steps on a ladder. It connects all of these different blocks together, but it is not one continuous structure that runs kind of from top to bottom, unlike the ALL and the PLL here. On this axial sequence, you can see this is the structure right there. And this structure has a tendency to thicken over time. Now you could imagine, because it's inside of the spinal canal, when it thickens, it can cause pressure on the spinal cord, and that is what's called ligamentous hypertrophy. Now, this is an image that shows what the ligament might look like if it was thicker. Now, as it thickens, and this happens as a reaction to stress, it'll cause pressure on the back part of the spinal canal, or the spinal cord and the nerves. Here's a picture, a sagittal picture, that kind of shows at these couple of levels that there is some ligament thickening right here at five, six, and six, seven, and it's causing pressure on the back part of the spinal cord. Now these discs, in this case, are pressing on the spinal cord from the front, and these are pressing on the spinal cord from the back. Again, like with discs, you know, not all of them have to be uniformly thick. You can see these ones are not thick, and the ones at the bottom are a little bit thicker. But that thickening of the ligamentum flavum is what's called ligamentum flavum hypertrophy, or ligamentum hypertrophy for short. It is when the ligament of flavum thickens, it becomes redundant, which means kind of there's extra tissue there, and it's usually projecting into the spinal canal, causing pressure on the spinal cord if it gets too thick. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future content, we'd welcome them in the comment section below.